Big Papa's Battle at Barbecue Junction, Jacksonville. This week, we're at the Flamingo Lake RV Resort in Jacksonville. We're going to be hanging out with the team and cooking up some big time cues. Got a beautiful resort with all the stuff you ever thought you'd need. In the first round, we've got What's in the Box versus Five Peters Barbecue. It's gonna get wild. What's in the box? Corey? Tell us a little bit about your background. Uh, my whole life, since I was 14. Started as a lemonade stand boy. Worked everything, everywhere. Now I uh, own my own company in Kissimmee. Oh, yeah, and uh, we cater to a warehouse, and we also have a food truck. Wow! Yeah. Can you go round up about 12 more people so you have as many as they do? You don't need them. You don't need them. <laughs> yeah, boy. Within your team, are you worried about what he's doing at all? Or I am. I'm worried about everybody. I'm a micromanager. Uh, he has two <laughs> left hands, what you know, is for surgical reasons. So he might be working in circles. We all have to keep an eye on him. She's clumsy, you know, she's clumsy, so. How does that make you feel, he said you're clumsy? Um, I don't no, care no, what he she's says. Number one. Oh, she's number one. She, she got, I she got this. Uh, is any of y'all married or? That's my husband. Okay, this he's your husband, husband right and that's your husband. And, and my boyfriend's married. on the way. Oh, you're <laughs> he's married to his own Peter. I'll hang, I'll hang on to the quarter. Ground chicken right here. You got six eggs in here? I, the pantry. You can use anything on the pantry, but you can't take it all. You can only use half of it. Okay. Looks like both the teams trying to figure out what they got. Grab that bag. Do we want to? So we have ground chicken. Yep. Flounder. Which one do we want to do? I think we should do um, app and main dish. And I think main dish is this. And app with chicken. Do we have hot sauce? We need a chicken dip or the appetizer. Ground chicken. Do you know what to do with ground chicken? Cooking. Big Papa's Country Kitchen host Big Papa's Battle www.bigpapascountrykitchen.com What's in the box? Head cook really knows how to handle a knife. Everybody's going through their boxes figuring out what they got. Looks like uh, what do you feel like? We have there's some chicken. flounder, there's some ground chicken, some cake mixes. Put it on the table. Most people, most people can't cook unless they got a cocktail somewhere around. What's really cool about what we're doing here, if you come home from work at four o'clock and you fire up one of these cookers and you throw a bunch of stuff together and and you know, within an hour's time, you can have a gourmet meal cooking on charcoal. Um, that's what we're all about. Garlic, two ladies. If you're pulling for what's in the box, let me hear you say, yeah! Yeah! Oh, I'm scared to do this one. If you're pulling for five Peters, let me hear you say, yeah! Yeah! And all of North Florida erupted. It's going to be hard to tell who's going to win between what's in the box and five Peters barbecue. This is Big Papa's Battle at Barbecue Junction, Jacksonville hot sauce in the world right there. Two claps in a Ric Flair. Woo! Good. 
for your husband to come in here and pull it out, or are you going to have to pull it out? Um, I think I'm going to have to do it. I think I've Joe always out pulls out. We got yeah. a five-year-old. These other people in pink out here to open that for you? We got enough of them hanging around, that's for sure. <coughs> I'm sure somebody in pink can get that bottle open. Real men love pink. Innuendos, innuendos from the Peters. Yeah, it does. Oh, it does. My trailer's right over there. You need one? <laughs> hey, y'all are our lifeline. All right. Oh, yeah, we're calling y'all. Babe, can you open the egg? I'm calling y'all. Is this all happening? Can you open the egg? I'm calling y'all. We need to turn it down. Get it, babe! Yeah. <laughs> Peanut allergies going around now? What do they bring? Peanut. Appreciate that, guys. I'm going to black out any second. They've got ground chicken, uh, flounder fillets, apples, onions, peppers. Breadcrumbs, potatoes, scallions. It don't take him long. Alright, uh, Missy, if you would. If Arn Anderson was here, would you support it for more? Yes. You do? Yep. Do you usually, do you go too high with it or? Well, we have a retro encabulator now, so. Yeah, I mean, uh, we uh, made a thermal coupler. It's mounted logarithmic casing so fitted to the Amethasian lunar wing shaft that side fumbling is effectively prevented. Uh, but on this one, you yeah. know, it'll just be a little less drinking, a little more paying attention to the sinus soil depleneration, you know, operation of Milford Trainings. Right. Oh. I co-sign on what he just said. Woo. I concur. So that'll keep the temperature. Um, I think oh my lord, they got time to sit around and look at their phones, man. Wow. We got I've never I seen anybody this relaxed. That I see they're real so good or real bad. We'd rather have them done for sure than not done. So. Is that I his think... Listen, I'm a smoker. Oh, we know you're a smoker. Hopefully this is good for that table. Um, and you're really going to have to watch that. That's gonna, the bottom of that's going to burn quick. So we need to flip them in about five minutes. Plank cooking is some good cooking. And they do quite a bit of that up there in the Massachusetts area. It looks like uh, they know how to handle their planks. And now the group behind us, they're going to get the exact same ingredients? Oh, mix it up. I like it. Cool, cool. Shouldn't have went with hot dogs and hamburgers made it easy on us. <laughs> the finals tomorrow are going to be fun. Okay. Oh, yeah, what are we going to be cooking? Opener. Well, uh, where y'all from? Originally Massachusetts. Okay. I'm from Polk County. Are you Polk County? Imperial Polk County? Born and bred. Are you part of the militia? Uh, working on it. Okay. <laughs> I heard that they just did a tri-county militia up in this corner. Yeah. Now y'all compete. Uh, have you cooked All right, we're under 19, under 20 minutes now. 19 minutes left till turn in. Time's starting to go by a little bit faster, I think. Bye, Peter. Bye, Peter. Let me get two props to the Rick Flair. Woo! -hoo! Woo! -hoo! Woo -hoo! <laughs> oh, they didn't get it. Bye, Peter. Let me get two props to the Rick Flair. Woo! -hoo! You like the Rick Flair? 
Come on. The nature five. Five. Sales never fails. Big that lucky in the person house. that won that torn cost. Got Righteous that living. Five minutes. That was that five dollar bill she put in the old dingling guy in front of Win Dixie. And that's why you got the mic. <laughs> <laughs> dingling guy when Dixie. Throw it up the deuces. Hey, West Side in the house. Sales never fails. Oh, <laughs> she only knows a little bit of sign language. It's about to get bad after that West Side sign. <laughs> that thing big, homie. Red beer. What's in the box? Ten minutes, y'all. Ten minutes. Something in the golf cart. You just driving in there. Is it a golf cart? cart? This guy, he's bull. He's BSing. Is there a Peter that can get some Peters? Hey, beer? make sure the golf cart is turned off. That battery will die. Oh, come on now. This is an adult event. Adult Whatever you want, brother. No, no, these boys just need something to wash it down with. That's all. Yes, sir. Bush Light, man. We got some good men here. Old Fancy Boy in the middle now. Come on. All right, the judges have beer. The leftovers are ours. Oh, yeah. Whatever you one want. minute to go. Which one you want, Missy? Yang a Lang. Yang a Lang. I'll have a Yang a Lang. Sure. I'm going to take that there winter lager. All right. What's good, this baby? Ready? Get one, Dick, get one. Yeah, there you go, Don. Nope. Sure? Yep. Big. Uh, Timothy. I don't know what he's doing. I'm my child. That's <laughs> definitely Timothy's all day IPA. Yeah, that's some crazy. I do. Let me see that there, bad boy. Come on. It's 4 o'clock. It's turning time. Y'all ready? <laughs> Judges, this is Watson the Box Barbecue Team, and they're going to tell you what they've made for you. Maggots. <laughs> you only one said give me the mic. I knew that was a bad idea. Come back in just a minute and let's see who's gonna win Big Papa's Battle at Barbecue Junction. Tiny's a bit too big. I'm probably going to cut the other side. All right, here's dessert. He'll tell you what dessert they have. They're gravy. Hey, where did you come up with the name What's in the Box? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just a little, yeah, so I cut the edge. We didn't, but we can. Sure enough, can. Here. Nope, we're about to be. Uh, I think we need to drizzle some hot sauce on there. What's up, Lincoln? I am almost done. 
Why, what you got going on, Slick? Huh? Like this. What, what you got to talk about? Lincoln, come here and get on the camera, boy. Yep. Yep, word set. Gotcha. Two in each one, or you think one? All right, folks, you got two minutes till turn in. You guys good? Two minutes! Dribble, dribble. Yeah, just pop it on them and I'll rub it. Oh. Hot tamale, I'm sweating. Woo! Hot tamale, I'm sweating. We need our Q-tips, man. <laughs> Five Peters, one minute. Uno Memento. Huh? I know. Remember, we have uh, an extra two minutes until the dessert needs to go. Right here? Well, yeah, but we don't have it. Thank God they made it. That was close. Five Peters Barbecue. Headed to the judging. Here we go. Gentlemen, this is Five Peters Barbecue. All right, which one doesn't mind spit? The one, it, it, the beard kind of drizzles in there? It got you a little bit, just a little bit now. Now, gentlemen, would you like for me to describe to you what we have made for you today? Okay. You're going to be starting with your appetizer. It's a nice, lovely, it's a little barbecue, or not barbecue, buffalo chicken balls. And that's a little homemade ranch that we made with chives mixed in with it. Just drizzled on there. Hopefully you're not allergic to uh, ranch or whatnot. Then you have a nice potato hash coming from the west side. What, what? And then you got some tilapia fillets, gentlemen. Enjoy. Peanut crusted tilapia. Wait a second. Did y'all say the blessing? Yeah. Okay, good. I was about to get upset now. Where'd you find tilapia? Tilapia? That was uh, flounder. flounder. <laughs> it, tilapia sounded so much better though. <laughs> oh, yeah? I'm going to go get my beer. I, yeah, I made sure they said the blessing. And we got dessert ready, Missy? Good? Come on. I was about to say, do you mind if I try it? There's a garbage can to spit it out when you're done. Yeah, exactly. All right, tell, it, tell us what you made for them. We uh, made honey bun cake. We had the, I didn't realize that was honey the bun cake. And we put the oil in the back. And all that stuff. Ugh. Nice seven reference. The judges are all done. We're going to get their scorecards. Uh, David, the uh, organizer here, myself, and, and one other rep. And we'll tally up scores. It was a tough battle. But when it all came down, Five Peters wins this round. Round two.
Big Papa's Battle at Barbecue Junction. Carter Q versus Belly Up Barbecue. I think we got a really good chance. Uh, last year we did it. I actually got beat out by Gary and uh, Bones over here. They beat us by one point. So uh, first time competing, we've learned a lot. We've been competing now for almost two years and learned a lot, my brother, my wife, and myself. So I think we've got a really good chance this year. Now, if you win, what are you going to do? Uh, we we got to decide it. We're probably actually going to donate it back to Operation Barbecue Relief. Okay. So. Uh, is there going to be some sort of a banner or a paddle or anything? Uh, I think we're going to get a banner and we're going to probably put it on the flagpole and fly it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to wish you all a lot of luck. And let me give you just a second to say something to your competitor that you're going against. Uh, we're going to take home the $300 in the banner. I'm sorry, but we got to beat you. They're going to belly up. And that's belly all up. we got to say. <laughs> First round, belly up. Second round. Belly down. I don't care. <laughs> Woo! You heard it right here. Jet styling, limousine riding. Carter Q and the team, the crew. Everybody keep in mind that your dessert is very important. It ended up being a tie on the main dish. Uh, whoever wins the dessert wins it. Gary, I'm hungry. He's making a little extra. We're about 15 or 20 minutes in. If you look at the top of the table, the chicken is still in the pan up there. They're actually cooks, cooking their vegetables right now, and they got their chicken you know, Darryl, sitting there in the pan. I don't think I've ever seen so much whispering going on. There's oh, I know. It got quiet, didn't it? <laughs> Somebody around here is serious about what they're doing. I don't know, but I'll go in on one. I've always said it, if I was Dana, we got a cake. Carter Q looks like they're going to 
make a major dish on their big green egg. Got their sausage in a pan. They're going to add a whole bunch of ingredients. Bacon wrap, pineapple. Whoa! That's a new one. You know, we, uh, we appreciate the opportunity, appreciate Dana putting it on, appreciate Dana, uh, David having uh, David having them out here for the for the second year in a row. Contest is great. Each team's allowed to bring a secret ingredient. Belly up has got their chicken on now, but if you notice the stack on top of the vegetables, vegetables put in there first. I just hope and pray they can get their chicken done by the time they got to get it to the judges. Belly up is cooking vegetables on their green egg instead of their chicken. They need to get their chicken on. It'll be strange to see what happens at the end of this big Bobbins battle at Barbecue Junction.
Cooking a competition is about organization. And chicken takes a while to cook. And folks, them judges, they don't like no raw chicken. And we'll have to see if much of their chicken gets eaten. Watch and see how many bites of chicken the judges eat. As you can see, the judge is not eating the chicken because the chicken is not done. The chicken really is basically raw. And it's been cooked a little bit, but nowhere near to the level of eating it. Now, folks, I ain't going to lie to you. They're getting ready to put together the best box that has ever been put together on Big Papa's Battle on Barbecue Junction. Now, I know they brought some ringers in. I realize they got a crew here that ain't playing. But I'm gonna tell you something. That Jared Carter, he got something going on. And I'm talking about big time going on. And the rest of us in the barbecue world, we better step back and recognize this boy here can cook. Let's just rock the house a little bit and let Jared Carter do his thing. I ate one of these desserts. They're getting ready to show you for belly up. And man, was it good. And the pumpkin that's underneath has got a little bit of heat in it. I don't know if he just put pepper in it or put hot sauce in it, but oh my God, it was good.
Okay, let's give Billy up a big round of applause. Let's get the turn in. Good job, fellas. Good job. Wow, wow, boo yeah. Carter Q, hell yeah. on the mound, who gets the rest? Uh, round one today, 
The winner of round one today was five Peter Bowman. Yeah. We'll see you guys here around 2.30 tomorrow. No, nope, we quit. Thank you. Appreciate y'all coming out. <laughs> and you guys are going to be facing Carter Q. <laughs> Big championship round in Jacksonville. Carter Q and Five Peters Barbecue. Here we go. Uh, we're pretty excited. Uh, we did well in the first round. Uh, got a good team. Uh, everybody did their part, pulled their weight, um, put out some good food. Judges liked it. So now we're here round two, and hopefully we can do a little repeat. Okay, now you who do, who's the real leader of the team? He's a he's a chef. He's a mastermind. Comes up with all our. We, okay. We're nothing without this cat right here. <laughs> we're nothing without him. We're just his support team. Okay. We're just a leg that hold up his big ass Peter. <laughs> Ditto! I'm beep beep beep. Ditto. <laughs> I haven't said nothing. I'm not going to touch that. You <laughs> beep beep beep. Ready to roll? have taken a lid to a pot and put their bacon on it and put it inside the Weber grill. So all that grease is going to run in the lid. We'll have to see what happens. Both these teams battled yesterday. They're the winners of each one of their competitions. We're gonna see who, uh, who takes it all home today. Bragging rights, some cash, a nice banner. Careful. You okay, Gavin? 
Grease over into the chicken flipper and look out! Meadow Creek is on fire! I hope they get control of this thing! Whoa! Five Peters is starting off with a bang!
Man, Carter, cue those samples you just gave us with all this world. Dana, let me know, uh, does size matter? Right now, Five Peters has got us all just a little stunned. That piece of dough there is too thin to be a pizza or too big for the cookers. We don't know what they're doing with this big piece of dough. Well, Five Peters is making their mystery dish here. Last time he attempted to put his pizza on the pizza stone, it would not come off. Is Five Peters going to be able to get their pizza off the pizza cardboard and onto the stone? We'll see in just a minute. There goes my tablecloth.
Thank you, sir. Carter Q's got to go first. I don't know if that's a victory or a loss. I guess it'll all come out in the wash. Let's see what happens on Big Papa's Battle. Doing a Ric Flair is good, but putting out that fire sure would be better. Everything seems to be rolling along really good for Carter Q. Chicken looking good. Brussels sprouts cooking up. No problems. Well, we've done this 21 times. That's our first fire. Five Peters has wrapped his pizza in tinfoil to let the steam soften it up. You can see the little burnt edge on it. Looks like he's done a good job. I hope he's able to pull it out in the end. That pizza looks good on the Five Peters side right here. But somehow between now and the time they get it on the table, the bottom edges of it get burnt. It's a beautiful pizza, but he's going to have to fix it after he gets on the table. I don't know what he's going to do. We'll have to see. It's a big moment in the battle, in the finals of Big Papa's Battle.
Boy, look at Carter's Q's Pizza. My goodness. That chicken in the middle looks good enough to tear up. Cut it up.
Is that y'all's turn in? No. No, no, no. Uh, 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 I think it is. Nobody else's. Definitely theirs. That's not ours. That's our brother, baby. What? These guys are the best Big round of applause, applause for five Peter and Thank you. Thank you. pizza shop but Carter Q just knows how to cook big time food it's a battle who's gonna win Big Papa's battle at Barbecue Junction and he's gonna announce our grand champion results of today's battle and uh, with that Dana Hillis thanks everybody Real quick, thank you to the teams that stepped up and competed. We had uh, two teams compete at 3 o'clock yesterday. Uh, the winner of that moved on to the finals today. We had two teams compete at 6 o'clock yesterday. Uh, Five Peters Barbecue and Carter Q came out on top yesterday. We came up with this idea for the Battle of Barbecue Junction to give the crowd and the people and the public something to come watch when everybody's busy prepping and doing their thing in the barbecue world. Um, it gives a few teams a chance to make a couple extra dollars, get some bragging rights, and show off their culinary skills. We saw some really cool <laughs> culinary skills this weekend. It was awesome. We, we come up with a surprise box. Nobody knows what they're getting. Um, to see the creation some of these teams come up with is just, it makes it a blast for me to watch. Um, we had a good time this weekend. It came down to the finals between Carter Q and Five Peters Barbecue. The winner gets the winner gets three hundred dollars and a nice banner and bragging rights for being the winner of the four teams that competed. Um, our winner this weekend was Carter Q Barbecue. Come down, get your banner and your check.
Thank you guys so much. Um, for the final round today, they had to make pizza. Pizza on a green egg. Um, the whole concept of this thing is to show what you can do in an hour cooking on barbecue. These guys put out some awesome food and they deserve to win, so uh, They have to divide $300 amongst about 38 people here, so good luck. Hey, David, listen. I don't know why Wood Team won or whatever. Congratulations to Carter Q. But I thought the last round was pretty even. Good job by both teams. Can I let people out there try my sauce? Well, of course you can. Okay, cool. I mean, what you got over there? I don't know. We're about to find out. Come here, Red. Take that on your finger. It's supposed to be a ranch. It's supposed to be like a ranch. Drizzle over top of the buffalo balls? Yep. You're going to have to be like her husband. Just let that stuff go right over there. <laughs> 